Hey guys, it's Craig from the moviebanter.com. Just saw My Sister's Keeper starring Cameron Diaz, Jason Patrick, Alec Baldwin, Abigail Breslin continuing her run. This is a very tough movie to see, very controversial stance. Basically, Jason Patrick, Cameron Diaz play the parents of these three ch children. Their eldest daughter has cancer and they really, when she's a child, they have no other option but to kind of create this test tube baby who will have all the same blood and bone marrow and organs that they could potentially use to help out their daughter with cancer. So now it's the future, the daughter's grown, the eldest daughter Katie is dying, needs a new kidney, and the youngest daughter, this test tube baby, decides to sue her parents. She goes to Alec Baldwin, the lawyer, to sue her parents for the right to her body. Now this is an extremely controversial issue, you know, depending on what side you feel about this. In the story, the family just goes through this crazy chaos. You know, the parents get in each other's face. The kids seem to be abandoned. You know, it, it, it's a tough, tough story. And the last thing this little girl wants is for her sister to die. But, you know, she's basically been used and abused in her entire life just to try to save her. So it's a tough story. It's a tearjerker. I mean, five minutes into the movie, girls were already sniffling. You know, guys, if you got dragged to it, just be there for, I guess. I mean, I ended up reading the book. I liked it. I don't care if it's a girly book. And, it, I mean, I think you're going to enjoy it. What I didn't like about this movie was the ending. I enjoyed the book, and the ending was completely different. I, I just didn't make sense for me. If you didn't read the book, it wouldn't matter at all. But if you did enjoy the book and you were a fan of it, it just didn't make sense why they would change it. I don't like when they do it. Another thing that bothered me was the flashbacks. I didn't think the director did a great job of explaining that this scene was a flashback. And then the problem was these flashbacks were so long that I kind of forgot that they were flashbacks. So the whole gauging the time frame of the movie and from scene to scene was a little bit difficult. Other than that, this is a well-paced movie, a tearjerker, sensitive subject, and it's definitely one to check out. So if you read the book or you saw the movie, I'm curious to see what you thought.